So one of the processes that you have to do with a fired piece of brass is trim it. Um, and sometimes there's a little bit of uh, question and ambiguity about why and when you should trim a cartridge case and what exactly that means. So when you fire a cartridge case in your rifle, um, metal is moving around. There's very, very high pressures inside the cartridge case. You know, like for example, in 308 Winchester, you're talking around 50,000 to 55,000 pounds per square inch of pressure inside that case. So cartridge case is made out of brass. It's designed to be malleable. So that case will expand to the dimensions of your chamber upon firing. So after successive firings, uh, the case actually grows in length slightly. So once you have a, a fired case from your rifle or just a fired case in general, uh, you, need, you need to do a couple things to it. You need to measure it. You can use a set of dial calipers and measure the overall length of that case. Um, typically, we trim a case after we size it. Um, sizing a cartridge case is pushing that case back down to its sort of pre-fired dimension so it fits in your rifle properly. Um, and then after you size the case, you want to measure the overall length and see how long it is exactly. Uh, reloading manuals will give you dimension sizes of how long your case can be. They'll give you a minimum length and they'll give you a maximum length. Or a minimum is also trim to length and a maximum length. That maximum length number is important. We want to stay away from that number because what happens is, like so for this case, imagine if the length of this neck grew successively over firings. If the length of that neck gets too long, it can actually impact upon the face of your, of your chamber inside. You can have metal to metal contact of the neck of your case to like the throat area of your rifle chamber. And when that happens, you can cause excessive pressure. You can uh, actually crimp the bullet inadvertently. Um, all kinds of problems which will degrade the accuracy and performance of your, of your rifle. So we want to size a case and then we want to measure it. And trimming is a fairly simple operation. You can use something like the uh, Frankfurt uh, uh, Trim and Prep Center, which has, a, uh, which has a, a cartridge case trimmer to length, which basically goes off the shoulder. So it's very, very accurate. You can adjust it to within about a thousandth of an inch. And you're going to then trim that case. And when you're trimming it, there's a there's some you know a cutter in there that cuts straight up against the case so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a perfectly flat surface with really like almost like a false edge on the inside or burrs like if you were sharpening a knife and you have sort of that excess false edge left over after you sharpen the knife to get you want to get rid of that false edge of those burrs because they can scratch the bullet they can actually deform the bullet um, as you're seating it. You don't want to fire a bullet out of your rifle which is already scratched and gouged up. Um, so you then use some of the other tools like on that uh, trim and prep center, they have an inside chamfering and then an outside sort of deburring uh, operation, which you just gently, as this tool is rotating, you gently push the, cart the mouth of the cartridge case into it and you're just looking to just trim the burrs off the inside. And then if you have any excess metal around the outside of the mouth, that deburring operation outside, you're just removing that. When you're done, it should kind of look like a slight taper on the inside of the cartridge mouth, you know, so the bullet slides in nice and easy and is it marked or deformed. You could even do some some experiments. You could take a, you could take different levels of trimming of inside chamfering, and then uh, pull that bullet using like a kinetic bullet puller, one of those where you hit it on the ground, the bullet flies out, and see if the bullet has any marks on it. Um, your your operation is successful if you can remove a bullet from that case and it has so no marks, scratches, or gouges on it. So those tools are really excellent tools in order to use in order to get that nice smooth surface that the bullet can be seated into and then exit without being disturbed.